Security's coming. Who is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LABB, who we running with? Yeah, two two three, I'm on ten again. Yeah, state your name. Big been dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just I'm bomb right now by Yo. myself. You what? With my mouth. <gasps> what did you do? You're blowing a ball? Yeah. Why are you blowing balls? Good. Okay. So this is the start of today's um, vlog. Good morning, Sarji family. Welcome back to another vlog. Today, Carlo and I, we're heading to Niagara Falls. Yep. Because in Niagara Falls, apparently there's some haunted hotels and we're gonna go and make some bangers. So do you guys wanna come with us? Should they come with us, Carlo? Yes, they should. <laughs> Don't screenshot that, please. <laughs> Ever. Do it. Tag us both. Don't do it. Let's go to Niagara Falls. Oh <laughs> yeah, my baby's looking nice and clean today. You guys remember when I bought the Honda Ridgeline? I'm actually obsessed with this truck. It's a good truck. It's not that powerful like when it comes to horsepower, but you know, it's got room. It's a mid-size pickup truck. It's the black edition and it does the job. It's really good on gas, which is why I wanted it for road trips. And it has a lot of room in it and all the seats climb up as you guys can see. And oh, that goes to Angelo's bag right there. Angelo is with us too on today's trip. And something actually new that I ended up buying for the truck is this truck cover, the bed cover right here. This thing's aluminum, it's really sturdy, it's really strong, it can hold about 400 pounds on top of it. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I don't put anything inside the truck though. As you guys can see, it's kind of dirty in there. But eventually, I will put stuff in there, probably in the summertime, because right now it's way too cold. Hey, hey, who said you can have shotgun? You're gonna be driving my truck today. Are you serious? Yeah, you can drive. Right. Psych! <laughs> Jumping into the day, we're in a place called Niagara on the Lake. I've never been here before, but we think there's this old haunted military fort. Um, there was a big war here in 1812 between the US and Canada, if you didn't know that. And we're just doing some exploration. We're trying to see what we're gonna film out here. We were supposed to go film this haunted inn, but honestly, it's probably not gonna happen because it's pure clickbait. We got it up to the place and it's tiny and I don't think it's it's gonna be worth making a video there. Like we can't you can't even walk around there, so it's no point to make a video. Oh. <laughs> wow, look at that. Guys, check this out. There's a big military fort. That's it right there, I think. And look at that lake. Whoa! Alright, this is super cool. I was not expecting this. And the fact that it's warm outside. I love it. It's so warm. Live it's awesome. Live a little. So I don't know if this haunted end thing is gonna work out for us today, but we are gonna go and check out that fort that's all the way down there. So we're gonna drive down the road and see what's up. Hopefully it's, um, we can film. Hopefully we can film there. I don't know. It's winter time, but at the same time it's warm. So it should be open for tourists. Well, I'm not a tourist or am I? I don't know. Do I qualify as a tourist since I'm not from this town or city? I'm five hours away from here. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're hiding beside Angelo. <laughs> oh shit, I hit your camera. I'll buy you, I'll buy you a new one. Wow. What'd you say, Carlo? <laughs> This is the, the perks of being in Canada. All right, stop before someone gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you gotta get that close. <laughs> wow, in my pocket. I have to get that close. So we decided to go to the haunted Fort George to see what's cooking up over there. Like I said, I've never known about this place, but I do know that the Great War of 1812 took place here on these grounds over here. As you guys can see, there's a cannon right behind me. There's something very shady going on here though. I feel like this place is closed because we're pretty much like the only people here. There are a few cars in the parking lot, but it just doesn't seem like this place is open. But if it's not, we'll probably just sneak in or something. Yeah, this place is like a ghost town. Everything is closed, but we did see some kids going into the fort and we do see an opening over there. So we don't know, we might just sneak around and see what we can find. I've made it to the gates of the fort. They're wide open. There are some cars inside, but I don't know, the sign outside kind of said it was closed. 
and by kinda, it's a guaranteed thing. So maybe we'll just sneak around in this fort. This fort was used to protect this part of Canada from the invasion of the US soldiers back in like 1812. Guys, look at this door. Made of pure iron and wood from way back in those days. Surprised this lasted this long. So Angelo just told me that this fort got invaded by the Americans and they did kill some Canadians. And that's why they say this place is haunted because blood was shed on this property here. We're just gonna walk around this fort, um, waiting to see who comes and kicks us out because I don't think this place is open. But hey, it's always better to be sorry than to ask for permission. Is that what they say? Something ask like for that. permission and not, wait, ask for forgiveness and not for permission. That's it. Check it out guys, some cannons that were left here from back in the day. At one point in time, these things were operational. I love how it's the shape of a heart on there. It's kind of weird, but hey, if you like it, you like it. Hey, Carlo, take a picture of my cannon. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like this was like the armory at some point or a prison or a place where they would eat. To be in a place like this with the bars. Get the heck in them now. What do you mean? Being around you is like being in bars. Yeah? Yeah. That's very rude of you to say. Being married to you is like being in bars. <laughs> so I've been to a lot of forts in my days. Like I really have. This one has to be the most boring fort I've ever been to. Have you ever been to the Kingston Fort? Nope. That's so much better. The only fort I remember doing was the one in Florida. Is it a fort? Yeah, we did a fort there. What did we do? I don't know, it was it, some fort in Florida. Oh, in Omar's backyard? No, there was an actual fort. Oh, I remember. Oh, you were nice. with us on that trip? Hmm? You were with us on that trip? Yeah. That's how irre irrelevant you are to me. That's so rude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I know Carlo was with us. I remember we went to this haunted fort in Florida. That was a cool fort. We actually snuck around in some places. We're kind of sneaking around right now, too. You know? Yeah. But that one was so much better. But all these buildings and houses have still been here since way back in those days. They might have been renovated a little bit. Guys, we're hearing gunshots off in the distance. I don't think the camera can pick up on it, but it's coming from that side over there, and that's the U.S. side. Makes perfectly good sense that there's gunshots coming from the U.S. side. This right here is one of the oldest buildings on the property, and it's the Artificer Shop. Workshops such as this were essential to continue to operation to Fort George. I guess they would make stuff here that were beneficial to the actual fort. But buildings like this one, I think were built a little bit later on. Keep in mind, we are just like sneaking around right now. The alley's kind of cool and creepy at the same time. Oh man, it'd be nice to get inside. Shit. Yo, security's here. And they're pulling out, they're pulling a cannon behind them. They have a cannon, a golden cannon. Yeah, I think the guy saw me. I don't know if we're supposed to be here. We just walked in. Angel's been caught. Angel's been caught. Carlo. Security's here. Wait, he said hi to you? He said hi to you? Yeah. Oh, so that means he's, we're not in trouble? No, no, we're not in trouble. Because the guy came around the building, I thought he was coming for us. <laughs> we thought it was security. Is it security now? They run this place. Oh, they have a cannon. They're towing yeah, it. The gold one. Golden golden. I want to go talk to them about it. Check out that building over there. I think that's an old church from back in the day. Or it could be the prison. I think it actually might be the prison. Yo, what did the guy say? I don't know. He's like, is that more soldier? I'm like, yeah, get that piece of shit out of here. <laughs> Yo, I ran. I thought it was security. I ran. <laughs> I literally just stood there like, uh. I was like, screw this shit. I'm too used to running away from security whenever they show up. I tell you guys, I'm a runner. I'll just run away. But look at this. I'm pretty sure this used to be a prison of some sort. Because it's a big building. And there's no windows. Just these. Yeah, this was definitely a prison. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, wow. Look at how old it is. Look at the discoloration on the windows from over time. Oh, it'd be so cool to get in there. This is definitely a prison. Yeah, it's a prison? Yeah. Yo, look at this. They got a secret tunnel over here. 
I wonder where it goes. It's locked though. We can't go in. And we're literally walking on ice. But yeah, that's gonna break. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I can feel it breaking. Look at how tiny the door was here back in the day. So I just realized that that door there is not locked. It's shut tight. I think with a good pull, it'll open. But I don't know, we'll see. We're just waiting on those guys to leave. Look how cool this is. This probably was the water well. Man, everything's so old and just rotting away. I love it. So right now where I'm standing is where the guards would stand back in the day and they would watch the cells over here and make sure none of the prisoners got out. So in this area, at one point in time, they would have cannons here or people with guns, kind of like where Angelo is right now. And they would just defend all ends of the fort from the invading side. As you guys can see, that's the USA right there. It's kind of cool. Oh shit, there's a security guard, Carlo, be careful. He's actually walking around. We didn't, yo, we gotta be careful. We didn't know there was a security walking around. What the f***? All right, we gotta be careful. Those other guys weren't security. They were just hauling a, a new cannon into the garage for this display. But if that security guy saw us, he would have probably kicked us out. Yeah, he definitely kicked us out. So we gotta be careful now. You know, I'm tired of your bullshit. Why? I'm just innocently sitting here. <laughs> You're not getting push you. Oh shit, security, security. He just looked. I swear to God, he's coming this way. He's coming this way. Psych. To anyone that knows me and follows my adventures on my main channel, they know how much I hate this plant right here. I absolutely hate these things. Even during the winter? I know, even during the winter, they're annoying as hell. Because I have no idea what that is. What are you doing? <laughs> no, Stop I absolutely <laughs> hate these damn things. <laughs> You walked right into it? Oh, oh that's a shame. Bro. <laughs> oh, no, bro, I hate these things. No. These are the worst things ever. Yeah? <laughs> Even in the freaking winter, those damn things survive. I hate them. Why do they exist? They serve no purpose on this planet. F*** off, Carlo. Carlo's literally got a handful. I'm gonna laugh if he fell down that hill. Go away, Carlo. I'm out of here. If he wants war, I'll give him more. I can't, I can't get up. <laughs> you gotta go around. Come around. So we're at the other side of the fort right now. And look at this. There's the lake. And I'm pretty sure that's part of USA over there. So I just checked the GPS and those houses right there that you guys see, that's Youngstown, that's USA. I think that's the Buffalo side or Rochester, New York. I'm not 100% sure, but it's called Youngstown and that's considered USA. Like if I want to take a boat from here to there, which isn't that hard, I'd be in the US. But I don't know if Coast Guard is around, it's weird. We could literally just sneak into the US right now. Yeah. We'd have to take a little raft or something. We're that close. Guys, Carlo's sitting here trying to flex with his cannon, and let me tell you one thing, buddy. Let me tell you one thing. What? <laughs> Step away, and you're cannonless. Before we leave, I want to come over here and take a picture, because I think this looks really, really cool. Just the way everything was built back in the day, it just gives off really good vibes. They don't make things like they used to anymore. Look at all these old wheelbarrows over here. Yeah. So cool. This would be like firewood? Yeah, they'd probably load them up with firewood and... Hey, look at that, a bee's nest. I just love how it's got like this kind of a porch type feel throughout the entire building. Like the swing around porch, yeah? Yeah, it's so cool. It's awesome. So we are going to be going to film some haunted videos and some abandoned videos for the main channel. But for the vlog channel, I hope you guys have been enjoying this little adventure. I'm trying to mix it up to do a whole bunch of things for the vlog channel and for the main channel. So I hope you guys appreciate the hard work. We're just gonna keep going, keep grinding. 2020 is gonna be a killer year because I think by the end of 2020, I'm gonna have such a big freaking surprise for you guys. It's gonna blow your minds. So stay tuned, subscribe, turn on notifications, smash the booty out of that like button, and let's carry on with this day. I heard someone scream. I heard someone scream and then a gunshot. I saw the girl screaming for me. No, that was serious. I, no, like literally. I heard a girl scream and then I heard a gunshot.
There it is again. Stop. That was very strange. Mm -hmm. You guys heard it the second time. Those? Huh? No, it's an actual gunshot. Oh, it's yeah. it's not like it came from there. from there. I think the girl screams were there. Yeah, going on down there too. Whoa. Let's just walk quietly. Maybe we can catch her on camera. Jumping into the night. I know you guys can't see this, but Carlo and Angelo are all the way down there. And our other friend Dave is actually trapped inside of a haunted mental asylum because security is literally on our tail right now. I know you guys can't see me real well, but security is dead ass on us. And I'm trying to keep my distance because if I join them, I have a chance of getting caught. I'm actually hiding behind a tree right now. So this haunted mental asylum, I've been trying to get into this place for about four years now. I've tried in the past. I've tried with Carlo many times. I've tried with exploring with Josh many times. And it's always so hard to get in because of security. The place is wide open, but the security is lethal. So, I just want to get in there. I want to take some photos. I want to take some videos. It's a dream of mine to get into this place. I'm not going to say where I am. Those of you that know this place, you know this place. But, I think I'm going to try to get closer to Carlo and Angelo somehow. Our friend Dave is somewhere on the inside. And I think security is like kind of surrounding him. Carlo and Angelo are all the way there by that light. Let me see if I can get any closer. De Carlo. I see Carlo and Angelo over there. Let's try to meet up with them. I got Angelo walking over to me right now. Don't know what's going on. We'll find out once I get near them, I know. So the reason why I wasn't with them, I know you guys can't see me, but it's dark. The reason why I wasn't with them is because I actually left my camera in the car as we were trying to scope out this place. So I went back to get it, which was a long walk away, and I come back, and all hell has broken loose. And security is surrounding the place, apparently. Yo, what's happening? Uh, Dave said he passed him. Huh? Dave's waiting to come back out. Oh, security, there's security right there. Right there, right there. There's the car. You see it? Yeah. Is that the one that did they chase after you guys? No, no, no. He was shining a spotlight like around the building. Oh, he's coming. I think he sees us. Probably sees Carlos. Yeah, Carlos running. <laughs> run, Carlo! Run! Security's there. Yeah, they definitely seen Carlo run. <laughs> Why did he stay back there? I told like, him. Like, take cover. Um, he just gave away everything. There's security right there. I don't know if he can see us. He probably can. If he slows down, then... He can see us by now. Yeah, he can probably see us. Definitely. Yeah, he's slowing down. Yeah, he stopped. <laughs> Let's keep walking. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. So right now, I'm currently in the middle of a soccer field, which is public property. And technically, where that security is, you can walk around there. I've walked around there in the summer before while security was around and they, they said it's okay to walk there. But no clue why this security guard's being a dick. Oh, he's driving off now. Oh, he's got a spotlight out. He's shining his spotlight out, look at that. Move, move, move. So he's currently searching for nothing because we're all here, except one person, but he's nowhere near there. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. That's Secu what's really funny about this. <laughs> yeah, we're like watching the security trying to Maybe find too, us. <laughs> keep trying. I'll keep you guys posted if anything else happened. I wasn't planning on vlogging this, but it's funny. Who the f is that? Dude, security's coming. Who is that? Uh, Carlo, who the f is that security? Shit. shit. Get ready to run. Shit. Oh shit, it's you! <laughs> oh, we thought you were security. So, our friend Dave is safe. <laughs> Dave from Freetography. He owns like one of the most popular websites for abandoned photography in the world. Yes, I do. Yeah, he really does. That's <laughs> quality stuff. Really good guy too. Um, we made it out. <laughs> I literally forgot my camera in the car. I went back to get my camera. I come back. All hell broke loose. This guy's running from security. Oh my God. These guys are running from security. <laughs> 
but this place has proven to be impossible. I've tried this place four different times to get in and always unsuccessful. 